Got a little bit better of a night's sleep last night because there wasn't any mosquitoes to torment me. So I was gonna film a video yesterday, but um, I didn't get any sleep and I woke up feeling horrible the next day after I got tormented by mosquitoes all night. So I didn't end up filming a video yesterday. I just kind of drove to the spot that I'm currently at and just relaxed here for the day. And uh, we have officially made it to Texas. We are in small town Texas, just outside of Houston at this cool little park. So there's like a playground right here, a couple of pavilions on the other side some parking spots with some picnics, trash, and then all of these spots around the edge where that guy is, where that van is, where I'm parked, and then all these spots down here and then down to where that van is are all little campsites that this town has put up for people to stay at. It's free and it has water and electrical hookups on both sides of each of the spots. So the fact that this spot is free is incredible because this is something you normally pay 50 60 dollars a night for so it was definitely a very cool find and a very cool spot to stay it was super peaceful sleeping here last night super quiet no road noise and most of all no mosquitoes so we are officially on day 19 of our cross-country road trip from key west florida all the way up to alaska we've driven about 3200 miles give or take and so far we've made it to texas so we're making some progress westward and before we know it We'll already be in Alaska. So today I don't really have a plan for what I want to do other than I need to get a haircut because I'm sick and tired of this long curly hair. And then I've got to be in Austin, Texas by 10 p.m. tonight because I'm picking my friend up from the airport because he's on a work trip in the city and I'm gonna meet up with him and, uh, and hang out for the night, which I'm pumped for because it's always good to see friends on the road. Also, I went to the grocery store the other day and I just want to show you guys how comically tiny this bread is. I had no idea how small it was. I just saw it was 40 calories. I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. But look at this. First of all, it's as thin as a Cheez-It and it's so tiny. I can barely make a sandwich on this stuff. It's so small. But I will say it is perfect for breakfast sandwiches because the eggs fit in there perfectly. So I guess it wasn't a total loss, but I definitely won't be buying this bread again. Also, since I took the day off yesterday, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did clean up the entire van, made the bed, got the sheets all cleaned, wiped everything down and just kind of organized everything, swept the floor. So it looks really nice right now. We'll see how long we can keep it like that. And there we go. So spots like these are sometimes some of my favorite kind of spots because unlike a Walmart, they're a little bit more peaceful. I can keep my doors open, let the breeze in, walk around, and not just be in a parking lot. But unlike when I'm camped out in the middle of nowhere, they have a bathroom, there's a town close by. It's super easy to get in and out. And it's really just the best of both worlds, honestly. These are the kind of spots where I can kind of decompress from being on the road so much. And it's nice. But anyways, let's get out of here and start making our way towards Austin to pick up my friend at the airport. So before we actually head into Austin, we've got to drive through Houston because it's on the way. And I think while I'm there, I'm going to get myself a haircut and fix this rat's nest that I got growing on top of my head. And since we don't have to uh, pick my friend up at the airport until late tonight, I might try to find something to do to kill some time in Houston on our way. day out today in Texas. I think it's supposed to rain all night tonight and all day tomorrow. This kind of sucks. All right, so since I'm kind of a space nerd and uh, it's supposed to be raining for the rest of the day, I figured we would go to the Houston Space Center, see if we can get a ticket and go check it out. And I think up here on the right is an actual launched SpaceX rocket. It's a lot bigger in person. I don't know why I was picturing something a lot smaller. That's pretty cool. Put a sweatshirt on because it's kind of cold out. All right, let's go see what kind of cool space stuff they got. Where do you get a ticket? That does not allow me. 
Oh, it's not? Okay. Well, I gotta go put the camera back in the car because apparently I can't bring it in, but I'll try to get some cell phone footage in there. This is it. It's actually massive in here. We've got so much stuff. Moon lander, International Space Station. So this is like where the astronauts would sleep and go to the bathroom. Not much different than the van. Super compact, pooping in a bucket. And then this is America's first space station before the ISS. It's pretty cool to imagine someone floating around up here like that guy. Looks like they had a shower similar to me too. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And they also have the Boeing 747 that carried the shuttle that we can go inside. So let's head up there, check that out. This is so cool to be so close to it. Wild. All right, so we couldn't actually go in because they just closed it, but it's still pretty cool to see it. All right, that was pretty cool. I wish I could have gone up in the actual uh, space shuttle. We weren't able to, but it was definitely cool in there. So they didn't have anything on space probes. It was more so just space travel. So I wasn't able to find that, that golden disc that has the uh, Pulsar map. That's the tattoo that I have on my chest. So I'll just put a diagram of it right here on the screen. And the little part that looks like a star with all those little lines coming out of it, that's the Pulsar map. That's the tattoo that I have on my chest. I've had a lot of people ask about that. So that's what that is. And it's funny, I actually forgot that I bought this a little while ago, a little scale model of the uh, ship. And then I have my little astronaut guy that's been hanging here for the last two years. So that was definitely pretty cool to go in there and see that. But I think now I'm just going to go get myself a haircut and then try to find a way to kill an hour or two before I have to uh, pick up my friend from the airport. So I got my hair cut and we made it to Austin like an hour and a half early. So I just sat down and uh, played some Xbox while I waited for my friend to land and he just landed. And we're about five minutes away at this gas station that I just pulled over to to hang out in while we waited. So let's go pick him up. I also had to clear out this front seat area for him and I moved the uh, portable AC right here just so he would have room to sit. There he is. Hard to miss with that big old head of his. <laughs> what up? Hello. What's up, cutie? Oh, that was such a long flight. Where are we going? What's the name of the hotel? Oh yeah. This is Cam. He's on a work trip. Been friends with him for 15 years. He still works for the government. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll just pay to park right here for now. See what it says. Monday, Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. What's today? On Tuesday. It's after 6 p.m. anyways. I think I can probably sleep here overnight too. I might just stay here. Yeah, I'll probably just stealth camp right up front of here actually. Where do you see a master pillow park? Tesla gonna get you on camera. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> People waiting too. <laughs> Go around me. <laughs> Alright, second attempt. Wow! <laughs> I mean, I'm once, impressed. Once you guys see how tight this spot is, you're gonna be impressed that I was able to parallel park it here. All right, one more time. It should be good. Look at that. We've got about a foot on the front end, and then maybe a foot on the back end. That's that valet experience paying off. I used to be a valet before I lived in my van. Oh look, a little river. Yeah. I like admin. 
Ooh. Nice room though. Definitely using your shower. Nice. All right, now that we got all uh, checked into the hotel room, we're gonna go walk around, see if we can find somebody to grab a, a drink and something to eat. I think it was down this way though. Yeah, never mind. We're not going anywhere. It's raining too hard and everything's closed because it's a Tuesday. I'm gonna go back down the van. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya for When there. you get off work. All right, so we weren't able to go out and check anything out because the uh, weather was horrible and it just wasn't worth it to walk anywhere. So he's gotta be up early for work tomorrow. So I'm gonna head back down to the van. I think I'm just going to end up staying in that spot that I was, I pulled up in. Because it looked like based on the signs that were up on the street that you can park there overnight. It's not paid. You don't have to pay till like 8 a.m. So I'll just wake up and pay the meter and then maybe move somewhere else. But it seemed like it was good enough for uh, sleeping tonight. This is going to be home for the night on the streets in Austin, Texas. And I know what a lot of you guys might be thinking. Um, why didn't my friend just let me stay in the hotel room? And it's not that he wouldn't let me. It's just because I have my own house out here. This is something, this van is something that I consider to be my home. And I would just prefer to sleep in my own big bed than have to share something in a hotel room. So I genuinely just wanted to sleep out here because it's nicer. Um, but I probably will go up there tomorrow to, to take advantage of a shower. Because I always like to whenever I can get a uh, nice private shower. So it's also kind of late. It's like 11 o'clock. And I don't really feel like doing anything fancy or anything too much for dinner so I'm just gonna make some pho which fun fact is one of my favorite foods Alright, so I think I'm just going to enjoy this pho in bed, maybe watch a movie on Netflix, and then go to sleep because it is getting pretty laid out. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We tacked on another 250 to 300 miles today from just outside of Houston to Austin, Texas. Still got a long ways to go and a lot of things to see, so if you enjoyed this video, think about subscribing. It really does help, and I will catch you guys next time.